Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Advice. Served her at the hotel they were sleeping in. Hello, gentlemen. I hope everything is going well for you. This is a very lengthy and jumbled narrative. Please excuse any typos. I'm writing on my phone. I've reached the end of my rope and have no clue how to get out of this situation. To provide some context, I male colon 43 and my so female colon 40 have been married for 16 years. Our family consists of two children, a 14-year-old daughter and a 9-year-old boy. Our marriage was tumultuous at first, but we made it through those difficult years and came out much stronger as a result. We married young, so maturity wasn't quite there yet but we knew we loved each other and could overcome any hurdle that stood in our way. I'm still not sure whether this was just wishful thinking. Anyway, my wife works as a manager for a large advertising business. For three years, and I work in engineering, seven years. Both of our occupations paid well and provided a comfortable living for our family. We were a close-knit family. As parents, we constantly make certain that we are there for our children in order for them to have wonderful memories. We always made time for our children, no matter how busy we were. To be honest, I think I'm a terrific father and spouse. I made mistakes with my wife, but I would do everything for her, and it shook me to my core when I discovered she was having a long-term affair. Which takes me to my next discovery. Wife was behaving aloof. In reality, the two years before this one were the most difficult, she didn't appear to like anything I did. She kept comparing me to her boss, yeah, I know and telling me how he would handle this or that. Can't you read her thoughts? Her supervisor, on the other hand, can. Don't you take the effort to take her on dates and make her feel special. Her employer, on the other hand, does it for his wife. What was I doing being so immature? I'd ask her what she wanted me to do to spice up our relationship. Her typical response, is, don't bother asking, you must already know and practice it. So I did some study and bought several books. Because I was ignorant, someone else had to have the solution. Anything I tried was received with either grudging approval or bitter disappointment. My wife had never been like this in all the years I'd known her, so I assumed my failure to make her happy was something I had to work on. Little did I realize that the whole time, it wasn't me who was doing the repairing. Her supervisor and his wife were extremely close to us. They also had children, and the children adored one another. We took them to our barbecues, family picnics to the park, and arcade gaming days. They've been to our place many times, and we've gone to theirs. It's hardly surprising that we became close. I tell her employer about our marital issues. He provided me with sound guidance. He struck me as a kind person. Anyway, let's go back to the finding. I was emotionally exhausted by my wife's demands that I improve myself or the marriage would end. I was honestly taken aback by her demeanor since, before to all of this, I believe we had a wonderful marriage. So one night she was messaging someone while laughing and giggling. I was lying next to her in bed and was intrigued. She fiercely drew away from me the instant I leaned in to have a look. She became enraged and demanded to know what I was doing. When I told her I wanted to know what the joke was, she said it was none of my business and went to the restroom. I believe it was the day that I realized, deep down, that there was some type of affair going on, but I didn't have any evidence. The following day, I made the mistake of asking her personally. She was enraged and vehemently denied any involvement. I didn't have access to her phone, but I really needed to know the truth. I requested her phone, but she refused. Only later in the evening did she reluctantly hand over the phone to me. Almost all of the text she sent to particular persons were erased. I could tell because certain talks sounded illogical while others seemed absurd. I returned the phone to her and we didn't talk about it again until a month later when I was able to get a friend on it to examine the phone and retrieve deleted messages. My wife had purchased a new phone and had hardly used the one she gave me. Some messages were discovered and it was only via parts and pieces that I was able to establish that there was an affair going on, and you got it it was with her employer. I simply knew if I addressed her right away, she'd find a way to get out of it, so I waited. But I was a shambles. All I could think about was how it would affect the children. 
I sobbed in front of my friends since the situation was so bad. I still didn't want to end the marriage, so I ordered how to help your spouse heal from an affair three days later. It's all right if you're shaking your head. I began reading in the hope that if I delivered it to my wife, she would cease this insanity. I wanted my wife back and to salvage our marriage. I had intended to speak to her on that Saturday to smooth things out, but she had informed me that they had an emergency at work and that I should not bother her. Of course, I phoned the workplace that day to check the account she told me, but I got no response. On Saturdays they were closed. I tried her phone number, but there was no answer. She returned home at 2 a.m. on Sunday and promptly washed before going to bed. I inquired as to why she was late, and she deflected by stating that she had previously advised me not to wait for her. I was tired of it. I did not give her the book I had brought with me. I was in pain, and she seemed unconcerned. She witnessed my pain and didn't care. I phoned her boss's wife to see if she had any information. I was longing for security, and I don't regret it to this day. When she found out, she was as surprised as I was. She wanted to confront her husband, but I warned her that he would most likely lie and attempt to disguise it better than my wife did. We met at her home to talk about what was going on, and I provided her the little evidence we had. She needed additional proof, so we decided to collect material from both sides and compare it. I began spying more on my wife, and she did the same with her spouse. It was quite simple for her to acquire convincing proof. Her husband was so arrogant that he didn't even delete the messages between him and my wife on his phone, and the few texts I discovered earlier eventually made sense, and we had a whole picture of how long the affair lasted. Two years. The boss's wife was furious, as was I she, like me, desired vengeance on them. They slept together everywhere her place, mine, luxury hotels, business trips, it was terrible to read about it all. They even emailed each other pictures, which we opted to ignore since we didn't want to scare ourselves with the sights. We want vengeance, but not an affair. We both agree that if they desired each other, they could have them. We both received divorce papers about the same time. We were adamant about it. Our husbands had no idea we were aware, and we played our roles accordingly. They were at it again by the time our ducks were in a row. We knew precisely where and how they were going to be served this time, since we worked with the boss's wife. We knew which hotel they had booked for their enjoyable weekend. I went there with the deputy sheriff. I waited in the foyer while the sheriff set things up and my wife was summoned from her room. She performed it while clad in a bathrobe, and I have nothing more to dread. She's in a state of panic, furiously asking me what I was doing there. It was a bit of a drive from our house, but not too much. When the sheriff asked for confirmation of her name and information, she replied in the positive and she was served. It was really pleasant to watch her stunned expression, but I didn't want to rub it in, so I opted to walk away knowing the work was done. She wouldn't allow me and grabbed my arm, yanking me back and demanding to know what was going on. I told her you had an affair and that I was leaving her. She began yelling at me and tugging my arm so hard that the sheriff had to intervene and instruct her to release me immediately. She did so and began weeping, saying me she could explain that I had the incorrect notion and that it was my responsibility. I was becoming irritated, so I dashed home. My wife informed her supervisor who became alarmed. According to what I've heard, he hurried home just to be served there. We didn't give them enough time to establish their bearings. We caught them off guard just as they caught us off guard. My divorce will be completed in a few months while hers may take a little longer. My wife and her employer have both been battling us about the divorces. Neither of them wants to divorce. The reasons I hear are that they had no intention of leaving their wives. It was just a affair, nothing else. People had terrible affairs and yet have a good marriage. They messed up and want a second opportunity to fix things. I asked my wife what she believed the conclusion of all of this would be. She claimed to be going with the flow, yet she behaved utterly out of character. She is no longer that person. I told her she was a people around me are accusing me of being horrible for not giving my wife a second opportunity. My kids are aware of what is going on age appropriate and fully support me, although they would prefer that we remain together. My resolve is eroding coupled with the fact that we still live in the same home and my wife is in treatment and reading the book, 
I brought it's becoming more difficult for me to stick to my guns. She claims she is contrite and will go to any length to make amends. All I want is that she apologize for being caught, and that's all I need to know. She's described me as a bitter resentful person who can't see beyond. All the negative, she subsequently apologized, but I know that's how she feels. The boss's wife and I are still talking, which my wife despises. She believes I'm planning a revenge affair, or that her boss's wife is the reason I won't give us another opportunity. She has frequently requested that I begin no contact with her employer's wife, just as she did with her boss. I told her she was insane. We didn't do anything wrong so why should I suddenly respect your views? See, I believe I'm finished. I have zero regard for her. She still refuses to give up and is actively attempting to interact with me about her thoughts and processes around the affair. I don't entertain her because I regard them as justifications. She wants me to accompany her to treatment. I'd read a lot of sites where the therapist blames the victim, so I said hell no. She wants me to read books on adultery with her. What's the purpose if we're just going to divorce? She desires intimacy. I told her she couldn't use to control me. She claims it isn't manipulation and that she just wants to show me how much she loves me. I corrected myself and replied, you mean love me now. People around me are angry with me, including my mother, because they claim errors happen and my wife understands through her faults that she actually loves me. I assured everyone that I would never be anyone's backup plan. I feel terrible about how I treat her. Even if there is hatred between us, I still adore her. Is it possible that I'm being overly harsh on her? She's making an effort, but I don't care. Should I rethink the divorce? People think I'm going too hastily and will come to regret it. Is that correct? I'm not sure what's genuine and what's not. Edit. I appreciate everyone's time in responding to my predicament. Raised key points, which I will address with my wife shortly. I'll keep you informed, but I believe divorce is the greatest option for myself and my children. This site's content has been beneficial.